My senior year, going into my senior year in high school, I tore my ACL, tore my meniscus in like my AAU tournament, so I wasn't able to do the last few ones for my senior year, which is important for recruiting. Um, I only had one offer, and you know, I necessarily wanted to go somewhere further. So, you know, I just kind of like took my chances and I was just like, I wanted to come to Iowa anyways for school. And I was able to like kind of do like a tryout with the team. So I came and did like one of their scrimmages in the summer, you know, just playing with the team. And then the coaches took me to Panera and just to get to know me and all the girls loved me and ended up telling the coaches. And then when that happened, um, Coach Bluter gave me a call. It was actually, I think the day before my 18th birthday and told me that she would love to have me on the team as a walk-on player. Um, so when she came to that first scrimmage, that tryout, um, just all good vibes, positive vibes, great personality, um, fun, um, and great player as well. So she kind of really just fit in with all of us. We just gave them that spicy chicken nuggets, Popeye's biscuit, no drink. Zion came in eager, um, wanting to be a part of the Iowa basketball team. And it was more her, her like desire and 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 uh, you could tell she was a great teammate. I actually had some of her, uh, the team take her out for lunch and uh, kind of investigate a little bit. And then uh, I did the same with my staff, took her to lunch and talked to her and talked about what her vision would be to being a part of our basketball team. And I think those meshed really well. So it was the middle of my freshman year. I actually remember that day, it was like crazy. We were in practice and before practice, we always come up to the circle and huddle. And I remember just standing there and Ryan Grubel, our video guy, he had his phone out, just like holding it. And I was like, what is going on? I was like, that's just so weird. And then Coach Booter just started talking about like me and everything that I mean for the team. And then she put me on scholarship for just that year. But then it ended up turning out to be for sophomore year, junior year, senior year. I had burned my, earned my way to get it for all four years. We've been trying to think of some way that we could express how much we're grateful. And we want to put you for this particular year on a full season. <laughs> It meant a lot. I was actually kind of in tears a little bit, and I'm glad no one really saw me crying a little bit, but it was awesome. And then you just have all my teammates just hugging me and uh, telling me how awesome it was. And a lot of my teammates were actually like in tears too, crying, because they were just so happy for me to get that opportunity. It is one of, you know, it's one of the most exciting things that you get to do as a head coach is to make an offer to somebody. Um, to, to say that we want you to join our family and be a part of that and to offer them a scholarship. So that one was special because she got that offer. She got that one offer and uh, that really made a difference in her life and it made a difference in our lives. I think Zion is one of those people who kind of make Iowa women's basketball, Iowa women's basketball. Um, just being able to be a great leader um, we all know that, you know, Zion doesn't get that many minutes, but I think that outside of that, the minutes, she's able to bring that calm presence, um, that confidence, um, and just the ability to make her teammates better. We're here in Indianapolis, champions. Big team, let's go! Big team, let's go! It was hands down what the team wanted, was uh, Zion to be a captain on our team. Uh, it was hands down what our staff wanted is, is, is uh, Zion. Zion has a lot of, of pull with our team, a lot of positive pull. Uh, she's very smart um, basketball wise, um, but she's probably even smarter people wise. And uh, that's what's always impressed me with, with Zion. And um, that's why I'm glad that she's accepted this role to be a captain this year and she's doing a good job with it. You know, like it's something team elected. It's not something that like, you know, the coaches give you. I think it's everyone else like looks at you as someone who can lead and looks up to you. So I think it's awesome that my teammates were able to look at me as that figure and to respect me enough to name me their captain. Working hard is, is something that it's not like, a, it's not in your blood. It's something you can learn to me. Um, you come out with your effort and your attitude and that can get you many places. Sometimes you don't have to be the most talented, but something I learned from my father was to never let anyone outwork you. And I keep that with me with everything that I do. And I think that's also something that helped me get that scholarship aspect just because I come in here and I work hard every day. You know, I'm not the most skilled as like my teammates, but 100% of the time I'm gonna give my all every single day in the practice and drills. 
The Heartland is brought to you by Wellmark, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield, serving Iowans for more than 80 years. This season, choose health care coverage you can count on from Wellmark. Speaking of a puzzler, Michigan State is at the other end of the standings. At two and six, the Spartans are ahead of only Nebraska, which in my mind makes Hall of Fame coach Tom Izzo and his program just as dangerous as many of their title contending outfits. The Hawkeyes can't concern themselves with a wounded Spartan image coming off a loss at Illinois. Iowa looks to take care of business at home and stay in the thick of the Big Ten race. Garza underneath through the lane, weak side shot, good by Connor McCaffrey, and he draws the foul, and I think it's on Hauser. Yeah, really nice pass. No good. Miss badly. Keegan Murray runs the rebound down, though. Bohannon for a long three. It's good. Great start for Jabo. Eight points. Here's Garza inside. A score off glass, and he's knocked sideways. Connor McCaffrey, nice pass. Baseline shot up, and good by Keegan Murray, and a free throw coming. Good hard foul by Michigan. State. Garza, one on one, whirls in on his man, shot up and good, beautifully done. Garza in transition, gets the pass by Toussaint, shot up, no good, put back is good by Luca. Contact all over Garza, and he put it back in with a left hand, no whistle, and we play on. Here's Perkins with a pop, pop up jumper in the lane, good. Touched every inch of the iron and fell through. Throws back to the trailer. Henry, a floater in the lane is good, or left of the lane. Joe Wieskamp, all the way himself, lays it up and in off the glass. Big steal for Joe. Now to a trailing Nungy for three. It's good. Beautiful distribution, beautiful penetration. And then the find on Jack Nungy for Joe Toussaint. A lot baseline right for Garza. Spins, jump hook, good, and a foul called on Michigan State. Tom Izzo can't believe the call, and he's barking. Nungy with a three. It's good. Reigns it through to break the tie. 44-41 Iowa. Up Joe with a drop step. Shot up. No good. Put back Nungy. No good. Put back again. Nungy again. And a third time is good. Nungy stays with it. Bohannon trying to free himself up for a three. Drives inside. Hits the jump shot right of the lane. Garza tries a three. It's good. Stand still three. They let him out there. Wieskamp a rainbow three. Good in transition. How welcome was that? Luca drives to the baseline. Step back. Jumper is good. The Sigma special. Right over the top of Julius Marvel. Here's Hall on the wing. Stumbles with the dribble. Fell down. Just backed into Garza and fell down. Tucson ahead to Patrick McCaffrey for the dunk. And a foul called on Michigan State. And an and one coming from McCaffrey off the Michigan State turnover. Go top of the post, left side, hits the jump shot. Elevated right there. Nice game by Joe Tucson. He's got eight points. Great pass inside. Garza misses the shot from right in the front doorstep. Keegan Murray keeps it alive and keeps the wow. possession for Iowa. Here's Tony Perkins driving inside. Scores off glass. Freshman to freshman. Perkins, a bounce left of the lane for Luca. Garza double team, hits a cutting. Keegan Murray, and he lays it up and in. Pop flying it in. Up over the top of the rim. Now to Keegan Murray. He's open for a three. It is bouncing around. No good. Garza with a rebound. Garza with a putback. And the Hawks are up seven. 77 70. Skip pass inside to Garza. Up and in. They continue to play him man on man, and nothing that Marble could do. Iowa by nine all of a sudden. Timeout Spartans. 27 points now for Luca Garza, and he is wearing them out. 80 76 Iowa. Two possession game. Lankford into the paint. Nice bounce pass and an easy layup for Kip here. Well, it certainly wasn't easy, but the Hawks are going to escape with a win over Michigan State. Second free throw is good. Great free throw shooting by Jordan Bohannon. Knocked down four in a row. Iowa 84, Michigan State 78. The Heartland is brought to you by Hy-Vee. Save time and shop online with Hy-Vee Isles Online. Go to islesonline.com to get started. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. This year in the Big Ten, teams are facing a murderer's row nearly every night out. No less than six conference members are in the top 25, including the seventh-ranked Ohio State Buckeyes and the eighth-ranked Iowa Hawkeyes, and they meet tonight. Garza comes and sets a screen. Joe pulls up, nails a 17-footer. Oh, Bohannon shooting in transition. Curls in a three. Murray with a rebound. 
to Wieskamp. He drives in from the wing, lays it up and in. Shot fake went right around Arns, way off the mark. Rebounded by Garza, up and good. Luca with a strong putback. Got a Buckeye hanging all over him. Garza grabs a bounce pass right of the lane. Leans in, double move, shot up good, countered in a foul. A foul on the Buckeyes. Ohio State up eight. They're playing active defensively, too. Bohannon for three. That helps. And a foul called on Ohio State. Here's Bohannon. Hook pass to Wieskamp. Layup. Miss. Follow up good by Nunji. Hawks attacking that offensive glass. Yeah, nice job, Jordan Bohannon. It's a quick 7-0 run for the Hawks. Nunji for three. Good. Out in the left flat. Iowa. Make that a 10-0 run. Timeout, Ohio State. Joe Toussaint to Nunji. He'll try another three. Same spot. Good again. Jack Nunji. Patrick McCaffrey, he's going all the way, dunks it home. Patrick McCaffrey, he's still upset about his turnover. Yeah, nice move there, though. Patrick, Connor McCaffrey, who's in the game. Wieskamp for three. Catch and shoot, Joe Wieskamp knocks it down. Terrific bounce pass from the perimeter. Garza gives the lead back, and an and one for the Hawkeyes. Here are the Hawks, hunting more points inside with Garza. Dungey's back in the game. He lets fly with a three. Splasheroo! Splashdown for Jack Dungey. Here's a double team ball knocked away, and the Hawks come up with it. Dungey with a good poke away after Ju juicing here. Bohannon for three. Good! And he rattles it in from Herky's main. Standing on Herky's comb. That's how far that three was. Here's Connor McCaffrey inside. It goes to Garza. He sets it in. Beautiful find by Nunji. Here's Wieskamp for three. Right down through the bottom of the well to start the second half. Iowa quick shooting and quick scoring. Gets the ball out top to Connor McCaffrey. His three. Line drives through. Bohannon. Stop and go move. A bounce to a lead feed and a Keegan Murray jam. Hawks have a fresh 20 on the clock. Right back inside the Garza. Shot up and curls in. Two guys hanging all over him and he got it to go. Back out to Connor now to Wieskamp. Open for three. Yes, sir. Right through. Weak side. Three from in front of the Iowa bench. Nunji for Garza. Here comes a three. Good from distance. Five feet beyond the top of the circle. Here's a three offered up by Brown, oh. and he banked it in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wieskamp ends up on the floor. Patrick McCaffrey ends up with a dunk. Patrick McCaffrey running the wheel out top. Leaves it for McCaffrey. He goes in and dunks it. Ran right by Brown. Put the ball on the floor. But Wieskamp gets it inside to Keegan Murray, and he dunks it to Garza. Nine seconds to go. Luca for three. Air ball falls into Connor's lap. He Fire. gets it to Nunji. His three, no good. And that'll do it. Two seconds to go. Connor McCaffrey gets the loose ball, and the ball game's over. And those Ohio State Buckeyes are sprinting onto the floor, jumping up and down. What a second half. What a game, really, by Chris Holtman and the Buckeyes. They come into Iowa City and ambush the Hawks 89-85. Today's broadcast is powered by Extreme Internet. Feel the speed. Feel the power. Feel extreme. U.S. Cellular is proud to be the official wireless sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes. U.S. Cellular, connecting Hawkeye Nation. Yeah, I, I mean, it's <laughs> we ended the season with a win <laughs> and then Carver in 2019, and it's great to start at home with a win. Uh, but, you know, this, this journey to the win wasn't no easy uh, task. You know, we're playing with a re relatively new lineup for this year. And, uh, you know, we've gone through a little bit of adversity at the beginning, but for this team, uh, full of freshmen and sophomores, and then we sprinkle in some juniors with Hannah Clayton and uh, Maddie Slago. This was truly a, a, a win that it, it, it just feels really good um, to see that we can be a success. Um, we focused a lot on blocking this week for sure, um, especially after our game against Purdue. So I think just the connection with the middles and the pins uh, made the difference and then being able to have that timing down. Indiana runs a little bit of a higher ball to the outside, so we just timed it well and were able to get over and press and it was effective. Our middles, we ask them to uh, generate more points from their blocks and we ask them to block very specific players uh, that Indiana really utilize a lot and they worked for it. They, they truly earned it. They had a great week of practice and it's great to see that transfer in. 
but yeah, our, our blocking, we always thought that was our goal going in. Our progression has to be that we're increasing our block statistics in matches. And so they've been working for it and it's great to see it now. Definitely think our blocking was probably the key point of it. Um, even when we weren't getting like stuff blocks, we were able to get touches and that just transitioned into good transition play and middles getting up and um, getting good touches and defense like working tempo to get the setters the ball faster and then opening up the middles with running the three more, definitely. Yeah, it was so fun. Um, we, we've been excited for this for like before I even committed to Iowa. I mean, we've been waiting for this for a long, long time. So yeah, it was so fun to be able to come out with a win um, against Indiana and just execute on all the things we've been working on this week and um, be able to. The Heartland is brought to you by Iowa's Corn Farmers of the Iowa Corn Growers Association and Iowa Corn Promotion Board. You may think Iowa grows corn, but the truth is corn grows Iowa. Athletico Physical Therapy, it all starts here. Latham High Tech Seeds is proud to partner with the Iowa men's basketball team in raising money for every free throw made by the Hawkeyes all season long through the Hawkeye Charity Stripe promotion. All proceeds benefit the American Cancer Society and Coaches vs. Cancer program here in the state of Iowa. Latham High Tech Seeds, cheering on the Hawkeyes from the free throw line and helping with cancer awareness efforts all across the state of Iowa. Simon Roberts was the first African American to ever win an Iowa High School State Wrestling Championship. He is also the first African American to be inducted in the Iowa Wrestling Hall of Fame. Roberts began his wrestling career by winning the sectional and district titles at 133 pounds in 1953 and again at 133 pounds in 1954. He laid claim to being the first black champion in 1954, winning the state title at 133 pounds. That same year, he was the YMCA Invitational Champion at 133 pounds. By the time his high school career was over, he had accumulated an impressive 43-6-3 record. That record was topped, however, at the University of Iowa, where he finished 62-8-4. Roberts wrestling at 147 pounds captured an NCAA championship in 1957 after placing second in the Big Ten tournament. He returned to the Big Ten championships the following year and this time, he was not to be denied, winning the conference title. Roberts entered the coaching ranks in 1966, coaching wrestling at Alleman High School in Rock Island, Illinois. In 1973, he took the position of Director of Adult Basic Education at Black Hawk College in Moline, Illinois. He also found time to return to college, receiving a master's degree, and has been active in numerous public service organizations, including alcohol and drug abuse programs in the Davenport area. The next Heart of the Hawkeyes feature is Andy Unsicker. Unsicker has been going to Kinnick Stadium since he was 10 years old. After moving to Utah, his love for the Hawkeyes didn't let up. He would make the 17-hour trip because Iowa has always been a part of him, literally. His tooth crowns have a Tiger Hawk designed into them. A true Hawk fan, Unsicker can't wait to get back to Kinnick Stadium. This has been a presentation from Learfield IMG College.